Hi everyone, this is Asim here. Welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to talk about Nuclei. It's a project discovery open source tool and it's a configurable scanner which is based on templates. So let me talk about the structure of this video. So first we are going to start with how the Nuclei works and in brief I would talk about how it works and the different steps of installation and all that. Then I would talk about the template engine because that's the uh, key to it. The Nuclei engine works on the templates which you provide with using the Nuclei template. So after, the, after that, I would also explain a few templates like the F5 Big IP template which I used recently to get a bug on bug crowd which earned me 10 points because it was a duplicate. Obviously a lot of people were looking for that. So if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I recently tweeted about the script, a small script that I made where I used Nuclei to figure out the, all the like remove the false positives from the large list of IPs I found from Shodan. So towards the end, I would show you a live IP which I found through Shodan and I would run Nuclei on that as well and manually also I would show you how you would have found if you would have done that manually. So let's get started with this. So this is the Nuclei's homepage on GitHub. It's under project discovery, Nuclei. So it it's configurable targeted scanning based on templates as I already talked about. So what Nuclei does is it sends requests on the on the host that you have supplied in the template and you also you mention the keywords or the response, the probable response that you might expect from that. So you, you write all these things in the template and Nuclei tries to match these. So based on the matching it tries to find whether that is a true positive or not. So it get a better understanding when I try to explain a few templates. So let's start with the installation. I always suggest to go with the source installation if possible. Also, although the binary downloading is way easier, but this ensures that you get the latest version. This is my bug bounty server on DigitalOcean. So GoPath is already set here, so I don't have to do anything apart from copy pasting this. And Nuclei would already be installed now. You could see that these are this is the help page, and if I check the version, you could see Nuclei version 2.0 for project discovery. So if you have some issues with the GoPath, do check out my previous video. I made a dedicated video on just how to set up the GoPath on your server. So the first thing that you need to do after setting up or installing Nuclei is to update the templates because currently you won't have any of them. So run this command. So latest version of the Nuclei templates is installed. Just to check whether it has been installed or not, do a ls in the current directory. So the latest version should have been here in the current directory, there's some issue. So if you're facing that issue, you can just download it by copying this command. So get clone Nuclei templates. So here the template should be there, the Nuclei templates. So now uh, let me show you some of the templates. So I think I've already opened that one, right? This is the templating guide. You could like, you, you could dedicate some time, like half an hour to understand this. And you, you would able to write your own templates, like some custom thing or checking that you want to do, you could do it easily using Nuclei. So you might want to write this if you have some particular test cases that you need to test on a large number of domains. So this is the template, I think it's for the big IP, yeah. So yeah, F5 big IP. So, so let me show you, so it's only 62 lines. The first one is the ID parameter. It uniquely identifies a Nuclei template. Then the info thing, so info is about the template name and author who wrote it, severity of the bug for which the template has been written. Then comes the request, so method would be get, get. so get, post, all those methods. Path would be the base URL, then TMUI, login, JSPN. So this is basically the payload that was being circulated throughout the Twitter, if you would have seen, and all other places. So these are the three uh, three endpoints that this Nuclei would test. Matcher conditions and matcher status type regex. So it would be a regex match. And what it would match is root. So the first ETC password would, would have the root in the output, right? 
So what would happen is uh, Nuclei would send a get request to the base URL slash this path. So if you would have done this on a live host, like I would show you in the end, so you would be able to read the etc password file. And if you are able to read the etc password file, it would have a root like root thing because the root is also in the etc password. Then in the F5 release, you would see the big IP release string. So regex match would confirm that. And in the config big IP dot license, you might have a regex string like this. So here the condition is odd, like any of the three matches. So basically it confirms that there is a big IP vulnerability there. Then there's the raw command where, which basically shows that you could send a raw request as well. So let's come to another template and it's of the directory listing. So you would have seen a lot of directory listing which has index off and then slash, right? So it's trying to match that. So ID is directory listing. Info is again the person who wrote author the name of the module. Severity low request, it would send a get request. Base URL is what you pass to it. Matches type word. So in that matcher, it was regex. In here, it is word. So which words need to match? Index of or two parent directory. So if there is nothing in the directory, you would see that there is a two parent directory term. By default, in most of the web pages, there would be index of and then slash. So I think it's fairly easy to understand, right? Before we move on to the live host, I would talk about the script which I used while I was trying to figure this out. So this was the uh, script that I tweeted about. So here I here you could see I was using the nuclei template, the CV 2020 the big IP one. And in output, I was saving the results.txt. So let's copy this because this is what I need to like run for nuclei h. Let me change this to opaque. So let's test this on a live host. So this is the command for that. And you would see that this has shown that it is vulnerable. So let's go to this IP. So you could see that there is a root here because etc password contains the root string. If I show you the etc password file of this particular server, you could see that this is the file. So basically we are uh, leaking this file on here in the response here. And the other file is the F5 release. So if I check this F5 release file, it, it shows that big IP release 12.13 point something something. So that's the second one. So this is the big IP release. And when you do this etc F5 release, you catch this file you get a string which contains big IP release and that's what it is checking. So you could see that it's fairly easy to understand and do like use this. So the suggested way to use this is by running the subdomains and passing it through HTTPX. HTTPX is another tool from project discovery. So you could see that running a list of URLs is like this. You could do hyphen L. And then if you want to like chain a few uh, few tools, you could like run subfinder, then find all the domains, then HTTPX hyphen silent. So HTTPX is basically checking whether that server is live or not, similar to HTTP probe. And then it's being passed to Nuclei. So that's pretty much all about this. Hope you liked the video. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon as I'm making videos quite frequently now. And I'm trying to make short videos so that I could like make more videos based on these. Thank you. Have a nice day.